Alright. Action. But that's how I am. Hello Josh. Hey, how's it going Shane? How are you? Yeah, I can't complain on a day like today. Well, it was quite cool. It sort of felt like at home. Nice thunderstorm. Good. Don't often see those in Cape Town, but yeah, a little break between the winds. Yeah, a day of all weather, I'm sure. Thanks for joining us here at Atlantic Surf. Yeah, super, um, super stoked to be here. Yeah, we're excited uh, for the season ahead and to learn and to engage a little bit more with kiting this year. Um, I would like to learn from you any exciting craft or elements you've been experimenting the past year or season to come. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously in the progression of kiting sides of things, uh, the sport's come a long way in the last six to eight months, you could even say. Um, in terms of core, um, always new products as core releases products every two years. Um, we don't release products on a yearly basis, well we do, but they're different models that would come out. Um, so for example, this year we released the new Nexus 3, as well as the, the Choice 5 behind us. Um, and then yeah, obviously there are new new products that are coming, uh, of which that I can't really talk about. But yeah, there is definitely stuff in the works. Um, some really exciting new products coming. Um, one that I'm currently working on at the moment that you all see me riding in King of the Air. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a cool new development that we're working with. And yeah, really looking forward to the moment when it's actually released. Um, but yeah, it's always hard holding back on yeah. on the information that everyone wants to know. Yes, I'm sure it's exciting. and. I mean, for me, what um, what does Core give to you other than other brands in a way? Like, what do you find uh, beneficial from the Core brand and just the quality of the product? Um, yeah, for me, what makes Core super special is that I see that between other brands and us, where we tend to stand out, I would say, is the the family connection between not just riders but the company itself and the people in it. Um, I found last year, if you saw how the team handled Red Bull King of there, um, I thought it was really impressive in terms of support from core, from guys working within the business in Germany that were here for the event and just helping coordinate support and make sure, you know, you don't have anything to worry about besides actually riding. Um, so in terms of knowing that all your gear is right and having all your gear, um, yeah, then other things that obviously make Core special to me is the quality of the product um, and what the kites are capable of doing. Um, of course, all kites can do special things, but uh, yeah, I find myself super happy on the kites and it's not something I'd want to change at the moment. Your go-to kite? Oh, <laughs> um, probably the one I'm working on, but second to that, I would definitely say XR at the moment. It also depends. I mean, it's like one of the most common questions I get asked. Where's your favorite place to go? What am I doing? Am I going for wave riding? Am I going to do big air? Um, am I doing strapless freestyle? You know, what, what is the objective of the session? And that again comes, what's my favorite setup? Mm -hmm. Well, what, what do you want me to go do? That would be my first question. Because obviously for big air, my first choice would obviously be to go down to the XR. Um, the XR is a fantastic jumping kite. Um, it's also really great in loops. So it's, it's quite an all-round kite um, in terms of what it can do. Uh, obviously in waves, it's not the most spectacular. But yeah, then if you were asked me to go for a wave session, I would probably go Nexus or Section um, as my two options. And then yeah, for looping, definitely GTS. GTS. Um, it's a nice performance kite. Um, and it loops really well, got a lot of power, and the recovery on the kite's extremely well. It's good to have a brand which meets all the fields and requirements, I'm sure. Yeah, definitely. I mean, a lot of brands have quite a few different kites to ride. Um, and I think it's just important that, you know, you don't obviously have too many. Um, I mean, we sit with about four different models that you can, or five different models that you can ride. But they're all sort of allocated to their own sort of division and then if you're not looking to have specialized kites in each sort of division there's also the option of going for like the nexus which is what i call your travel companion it's the kite that you can take 
anywhere in the world and be able to do whatever you wanted to actually do. So whether it be a freestyle session or a big air session or wave riding, the Nexus is really good at all of it. Sick. And when are you going to start surfing? I do surf. What do you mean? Good. Um, getting barreled? Yeah, getting barreled or hanging 10? Nah, getting barreled. Uh, getting barreled. Yeah, no, I'm good. not the longboard type, I don't think. Okay. Although I might fit the profile, but... Cool. <laughs> getting short barreled. Board, short board for, for it's, sure. It's a good thrill. Well, Josh, good luck for the Kota coming up. Awesome. Thank you so and much. And enjoy the summer. Keep sharing the stoke. 100%. Kiting hard, pushing the limits. Yeah. Yeah, and having fun. Nah, looking forward to what we're going to do this season. Yeah. Sick, Sick. man. Cool. Hehehe. <laughs>